Hello everyone. Before I begin, I would like to take a moment of silence for Miss Erica Letts, an amazing woman who always gave us a reason to smile. Thank you. Miss Erica will be greatly missed at Foothill, but her memory will live on in the lives of all the students who had the opportunity to know her. Now, on to the promotion. Picture this, the year 2013. Four-year-old itty bitty me walking past ginormous hallways, trying to keep off the red lines before I became the next Pat Stanley. I didn't know what to expect. Little did I know that the next eight years would have wonderful experiences in store for me. My name is Zaina Siddiqui, and I would like to take you on a journey through my foothill experience. It all started in TK. Mrs. Cortez welcomed me into her class. This year flew by. I made my first friends, school memories, and learned a ton. Before I knew it, I was in kindergarten. I had the teacher, Mrs. Caverly. The only times I remembered that I would truly pay attention was when she would talk about her fluffy orange cap, but that's besides the point. She taught me how to accept responsibility and to be accountable for my actions, whether they were good or bad. There was one day I took home our class pet, also known as Flopsy the Stuffed Dog. I thought I had lost him when I came home. I looked everywhere and was thinking that this poor pooch was never going to live out his days because of me. I went to school the next day, so disappointed in myself, only to see Mrs. Carverly with a bright smile on her face handing me Flopsy. She told me, lift him at school over the weekend, hun. I was so relieved and kept a close eye on him the next weekend. This experience taught me that someone like my teachers will always be there for me whenever I need them the most and that you have to come out and be responsible for your actions. After reading lots of Dr. Seuss and, and Pete the Cat, I was put in first grade where I had the teacher, Mrs. Skelsky. I remember my learning and motivation being based off of ice cream and other sweet treats. And we had a bunch of fun. I went into second grade, but apparently I was the cool kid because I was put in a second and third grade combo class. I had the teacher, Mr. Turner, who would always motivate and push me to be the best me I could possibly be. He taught me how to be prepared for the real, real world by helping me make the right decisions and telling me to follow my instincts. In his class, we had a ticket system. These tickets taught me how to make wise decisions and not to take them for granted. I remember getting 50 tickets because I had read what seemed like the longest book ever at the time, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I took the quiz on it and I got 100%. I was talking up a storm about all the tickets I was rewarded. Little did they know that I was just binge watching the movie all weekend long. My third grade year was filled with long division and a lot about history. I thought third grade would be hard, but my teacher, but my teachers, Mrs. Wilhite and Miss Young, made it very easy for me to comprehend all the different subjects. Then came fourth grade. I had the teacher, Miss Smithley. She taught me to always be kind. She also taught me how to love others unconditionally. I learned from her that kindness is the key to a better world. I remember so much about these years. She'd always make me laugh and read up random songs which helped me remember different math equations. She always danced around the classroom and sang old songs no one ever knew. She gave us Jolly Ranchers whenever we got the correct answers, which really motivated me at the time. I had Miss Smithley again in fifth grade. She decided to take our whole class up a grade with her. By this time, she knew all my strengths and weaknesses, which was a good and bad thing at times. She used to sing and make super cheesy jokes, and even though no one would laugh, they were pretty gouda. She always made everything so colorful, bright, and fun to learn. Then COVID hit, and well, I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, I was expecting to finally be able to be. I mean, I was expecting to finally be able to roll the school as a big sixth grader. Even though this year wasn't exactly what I had in mind, I got the most amazing teacher ever, and her name was Mrs. Lance. She taught me to keep safe during these times, helped me learn a lot about how to be cautious of my surroundings and adapt to new situations, like how to stay healthy and fit by going on bike rides and doing yoga. She made me feel like I was actually in school and learning something, even if it was over Zoom. She played different songs that were sometimes so funny, and she made some pretty corny jokes along the way. And if we didn't laugh, she would explain the joke, hoping we would laugh, and manage to get a few giggles out of us. In sixth grade, I was lucky enough to still have VAPA and have an amazing music teacher who taught me the history of music, played very intense Kahoot and Book It games with us, and found an Among Us, but of course an educational version. This is school after all. 
Now that I'm off to start a new adventure and realize I can't hug all my amazing teachers goodbye, I will still have all these wonderful memories to cherish in my heart. Foothill Elementary and the awesome teachers in this school have taught us all the true meaning of PAC. Thank you to all of our teachers, friends, and administrators for showing us what it is to be part of the amazing pride that is Foothill. We walked into this school as pups and we are leaving this pack as coyotes, but these experiences will always be in our hearts. Last but definitely not least, I would like to thank my family for always supporting me, cheering for me, even when it is really loud, and believing in me. I would not be where I am without each and every one of you guiding me and leading me through it all. But be prepared, I'm about to become a teenager. Good luck in seventh grade to all my friends and classmates. This is where the chapter ends. A new one now begins. Time has come for letting go. The hardest part is when you know all of these years when we were here are ending. But I'll always remember we have had the time of our lives, and now the page is turned. The stories we will write We have had the time of our lives And I will not forget The faces left behind It's hard to walk away From the best of days But if it has to end I'm glad you have been my friend in the time of our lives Where the water meets the land, there is shifting in the sand Like the tide that ebbs and flows, memories will come and go I'll always remember We have had the time of our lives And now the pages turn The stories we will write We have had the time of our lives And I will not forget The faces left behind time of our lives and I will not forget the faces left behind it's hard to walk away from the best of days but if it has to end I'm glad you have been my friend in the time of our lives I'm glad you have been my friend in the time of our lives. Oh. 
Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life The days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you want to go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose I hope you choose the one that means the most to you And if one door opens to another door closed I hope you keep on walking till you find the window If it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything more than anything My wish for you Is that this life becomes All oh, that you want it to Your dreams stay big Your worries stay small You never need to carry more than you can hold And while you're out there Getting where you're getting to I hope you know somebody loves you And wants the same thing But you never forget All the ones who love you in the place you left I hope you always forgive And you never regret And you help somebody every chance you get Oh, you find God's grace in every mistake And always give more than you take But more than anything Yeah, more than anything